Welcome to MicroLearning PeopleSoft Technical Tips. Follow the instructions on the next slides for quick learning of a useful PeopleSoft technical tip. How to create a dynamic prompt. Prompts allow users to choose a value from a predefined list of control values for a field on a page while performing transactions. Here are the record field properties of the company field in the record depth underscore TBL. In this case, the user has no control over the values that will be prompted. The system will list all available values from the company underscore TBL record. Dynamic prompts provide users with control over the prompt values and how they are generated. For example, you can build a prompt dynamically at runtime based on a specific field value respective to the value selected on the first prompt. Let's explore this further with two scenarios. Scenario 1. Dynamic prompt using dynamic view. In the delivered PeopleSoft functionality, compensation rate codes are created to be used by all companies. However, this results in a large number of compensation rate codes being generated for users when they define a person's compensation on their job data. The selection options should be limited to compensation rate codes that are relevant to each individual company. One approach to achieve this is by utilizing the dynamic view record type, which is an effective method for implementing dynamic prompts. Step 1. Create a record of type dynamic view using application designer as follows. Step 2. In the compensation record, Open the record field property of comp underscore attect, go to the edits tab and assign the newly created dynamic view fmc underscore crccmp underscore dvw as the prompt table edit. Step 3. Add below people code in the row init record field event of comp underscore attect field, where fmc crcdyvwsql is SQL string which will pull the compensation rate codes valid only for the current person's company. Scenario 2. Dynamic prompt using derived record field. The prompt table for a field can be different depending on the value that user selects from another field. This is also called a dynamic prompt, and it can be implemented using a field that is defined in record type derived slash worked and is another way of implementing dynamic prompts. Now, let us see how it's been implemented. This example shows how to change the pay group dropdown lists based on the value that user has selected for the field of pay system flag. Step 1. Add a field editable 6 in the derived record named, derived. Step 2. Open the record field properties of the field pay group in job table. Step 3. Add below people code in the field change event of the field pay underscore system underscore FLG. Here is the difference of the two scenarios. Scenario 1. Dynamic prompt is created using the dynamic view record definition and the rows selected in the prompt are controlled by SQL query supplied to the SQL text property of the record field based on certain conditions. Here, rows displayed in the prompt can be controlled, but the structure of the prompt remains the same because the underlying prompt record doesn't change. Scenario 2. Dynamic prompt is created using a field added in a derived slash worked record the field name is used as the bind variable, which is mentioned in the record field properties. Then in the people code, Record definitions are assigned to this bind variable based on a certain condition which becomes the prompt record. Here, the structure of the displayed prompt appears different each time because the underlying prompt record is changed. 500 Tips and Techniques for PeopleSoft Development and Troubleshooting by Sean Chen. Buy it now on Amazon.